Hi, this is Lucas, and this is the second tutorial of how to create a Fanta bottle. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Now, the next thing is the bottom part, which is a bit uh, difficult in certain ways. So let's go ahead in the front view and select the bottom faces again and pull them a bit down. something like that now we're going to select um, certain edges and pull them up and but first uh, keep selected the bottom faces um, uh, go on edit mesh and extrude and scale it down scale all the faces down till the center um, something like that, not too close, and then do another extrude and make it like that, a bit smaller. This I'm going to scale it down a bit. To do that, just right hold the right click and um, select edge and double click one edge so that it select it selects the whole edge loop. So. Now that we have that part ready, we're going to choose faces. We're going to choose all the faces right here. Like that. And move them a bit upwards. Let's see in the front view. Um, something like that should do. Now, the next thing is to select one edge and then skip three edges and select the fourth one skip three edges and select the fourth one skip three edges the fourth one skip three edges and the fourth one so that we have evenly spaced out um, uh, edges selected now once we have those selected we just move them upwards like that and as you can see although it is very squarish we can see um, that the legs are taking form now um, as the size something like that should do yes let's leave them like that now if we go on object mode you can see that o the bottle is almost ready so if we select the whole object and press 3 on the keyboard, we see that um, uh, the model is softened. So as you can see, the legs are took shape as the real bottle, so it is made more realistic. So now, while uh, on this mode, which softens the model, we just um, uh, try to make it more realistic so first of all I'm going to select these faces right here and pull them a bit up so that I make a more deep center entry something like that should do and I'm going to scale down a bit this edge as well so that I give that hard edge right there for this center part and let's pull it up a bit something like that should do now as you can see we have a very good center part right there now the next thing is to scale a bit these faces so grab these faces change the normals if, if are uh, these are not um, flat like this this is not good so let's change them by double clicking the scale tool and go on normals average 
so that the axis conform to the faces selected and let's scale them up from um, uh, the x axis so let's select now that face and let's scale it up a bit as well and we're going to repeat that for the whole um, other fa uh, legs or faces as you wish now let's scale that up a bit not too much it's very important so that we give them a bit of width now that looks already better I'm going to insert another edge loop uh, more closer to the center so that I can just move it a bit up so that I give it that little wave right there I want exactly so um, the bottom part is ready as well it looks pretty good so um, uh, as you can see uh, the model of the Fanta bottle is almost ready we just uh, need the cap so to create the cap just go on polygon primitives select cylinder again move it a bit up um, go on the top view so that we scale it up a bit to fit the hole right there now we can select the image as well and press ctrl h to hide it now let's scale it down a bit move it onto the hole so that we know how it is going to be something like that if we go onto the front you can see scale it down a bit move it a bit up and something like that should do something like that should do so we move it upwards we delete the bottom faces okay so like that now we select the ho uh, all the faces by double clicking one face we go on edit mesh and extrude and let's scale down a bit uh, the cap so that we have some thickness something like that should do so now as you can see uh, this part is a bit slanting so to make it flat uh, we just select this edge loop right here as you can see the inside one we select the move tool and we just snap it to the bottom part and we have a flat bottom so um, uh, if we make it round we can see that it is not good so all we have to do is insert an edge loop right here somewhere closer to the edge so that we have a harder edge but at the same time we have a soft edge not um, like this so if we make it like that three we press three we can see uh, that is that it is much better so if you want to make it harder uh, the edge obviously just move a bit upwards the edge something like that so um, the next thing uh, on the cap is to make another edge loop here as I can see that it is a bit round 
so let's insert an edge loop right there okay so now it's much better and let's insert another edge loop right here and at the bottom so that on the inside it's the same and now if we press 3 again we have a clean inner and outer cap so the last thing on the cap is to go and select one face at a time press extrude scale down a bit not proportional this time so that you have something of this shape or more thinner something like that so um, and then we just pull it out select normal average again and we pull it out a bit something like that should do so now if we press 3 we have something like that but so to remove that let's insert another edge loop and to make it like that and we have to insert another edge loop here and another one here another one here and another one here as you can see we have that little part like uh, like that and we have the cap a bit of a detail now you're going you have to repeat it uh, for the whole cap so that you have a detailed cap if you want a simple cap obviously just leave it um, like it is and you will have a normal cap with no um, excessive polygons right here but like this it is more uh, nice i'm going to leave it like that with one then so that i don't waste time in this tutorial um, but you get the idea of how it should uh, look like so i'm going to place the cap right there at its place and i'm going to zoom out so that we can see the final result that we obtained of the fanta bottle model so as you can see it is in detail and now in the second tutorial i will show you how to texture it we're going to texture the top um uh, the top of the cap and we're going to do the wrapper and also um uh, i'm going to uh, make it make the bottle a bit transparent and a bit orange so that it looks more realistic so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and check my website uh, lucas95.wix.com slash tutorials and my facebook page um, uh, just search for lucas tutorials and you will find it so thanks again see you in the third tutorial of this fanta bottle so that you we will know how to texture it but if you close your eyes